Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. Bam! We are on the Atlantic side and I've got the red offshore kayak ready for a shakedown tour. Uh, basically a perfect day to just make sure everything works. Uh, not only the kayak, the motor, uh, my fishing gear. I haven't done any reef fishing in uh, over a year so I don't even know what's in my tackle boxes to know if I've got the right stuff. Got a couple of blocks of chum, picked up my first case of chum in over in a year and a half, I think, but picked up a case. I got a couple of bricks in there. Uh, then the first thing, got it unloaded at the ramp, went to pull the handle on the uh, offshore motor, and then the handle just crumbled in my hands, the inside metal tab that prevents it from getting sucked through. It was just rusted through and just pulled the handle right off. So, oh God, so I had to go back through, rerun all the wire, the, the cordage, got that out there. Then I don't have a handle, so I was just pulling on this knot and it's just hard and just killed my hands. But then this motor wouldn't start. Um, that's what happens with this motor. It's the fuel emissions. It's got a, it goes from the fuel tank up to the top. There's a reservoir and then back down to the carburetor. And in order to get the fuel up to the top, you got to just crank the crap out of it. I had cranked on it for about a half an hour before it finally got fuel down to the carburetor and fired up, but it just wrecked my hands. So I stopped out here. I think I'm gonna do is to take off one of my lift handles and see if I can make that work for that uh, pull start. Otherwise, I don't wanna go too far out and get stuck out there. So that's kind of the plan. So let's see what we can do. All right. The factory knot was too hard. I couldn't get it off to tie it into this. So I just made a loop. I could put this in the loop and then I've got a temporary pull start so I don't kill my hands to start it and then I could just take it off and keep it to the side. So I think we're going to be okay. So let's head that way. made it out to some part of the reef I'm not exactly sure um, I know there is a channel marker out that way which is generally the Hawks channel marker so that's generally about halfway then my other directional I don't know if you can see it way back over there is a sombrero reef uh, tower so that's a mark and then I know I'm kind of getting to the edge of the reef because the boats are starting to show up there. Usually they're on the outer edge. Yeah, there's about six or seven of them here. I have no idea, I'm coming out here blind. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I started seeing some dark spots, dark patches. So I think these are the, the patch reefs. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is throw on the fish finder GPS and see what that shows me. Well, I'm glad I'm doing this shakedown. Golly, just so many problems. So I got the uh, fish finder rig set up how I've got it, that works. Hooking up the uh, battery and then uh, trying it. I wasn't getting any power to the box. So I was checking the ends, pulled on the ground and it came off the uh, adapter, the prong. So I had to strip it and just kind of jam it on there. So that's messed up, but at least this is working. So we'll hopefully that'll keep working I've got to move this battery box to my middle compartment so I have access to it like I had before I thought this would work out but this is just like too much of a hassle stay on baby all right so we're good there so uh here's another tool of the trade when I'm prospecting out here so now we got electronics at least all right so I've got GPS up now um seven i mean the seven mile launch is up here i'm basically right at the reef main reef line uh this is the outside edge where you see those red drop offs so that's basically where it goes from like 40 50 down to 70. um that marker there is that uh, channel marker for hawks k cox key channel um and then over here should be uh the sombrero reef lighthouse so I'm not too far from the edge, so I'm gonna work all this area here, look for just uh, any type of structure, and then uh, zooming in will get me a little bit more 
Yeah, so I can start seeing some patches here. So something like this edge right here might be worthwhile. And that might be where these guys are anchored up. But let's go take a cruise. All right, so I made it to the outside of the edge of the reef. So that's as far as I need to go today. Uh, every time I hit a wave, uh, that ground comes undone and shuts this thing off. So big pain in the butt. So I think I'm going to start moving inside, see if I could find some sort of broken bottom maybe around here there's a boat over there so i might edge over somewhere around here and then see where the chum is going but uh yeah check that off survived it now i just want to do some fishing just coming over the edge of the reef so i see all these marks here that's kind of what i'm looking for the christmas tree setup and that also helps that i can't really see but uh, that's why i bring these just so i could double check but I don't know if we'll have enough light because the sun left. But let's take a look. All right, I came up on the edge, kind of on the top of the reef. Uh, it goes from about 30 foot to about 25 foot. Uh, it's kind of broken bottom. I'll let you take a look here. Alright, I had gotten the chum bag out. It's been about a half an hour. I was rigging up my poles. Uh, none of them were rigged correctly. Then I found out I didn't have any of my 12-pound uh, yellowtail leader that I use. So that'll have to be on the to-do list. All my yellowtail uh, snapper jigs were at the bottom of my tackle box into a rusty ball. So those were all garbage. I also don't have any uh, medium or heavy size uh, Cobra jig heads. So that's got to be added as well. Um, since I put that chum bag out, it attracted a bunch of hardtails. They're eating right out of the bag. Then we got chubs and some yellowtails. And then uh, way back there are the the uh, ballyhoo which I kind of wanted to use for bait so we got to wade through this crab I think I'm going to try to catch one of these uh hardtails and use that for cut bait on the bottom I've also got some frozen uh, mullet so we'll drift some baits back I did bring my bait pole so at least I did something right this hook is rusted but I'm going to give it a try anyways I don't think these uh hardtails are all that picky at the moment could be wrong oh there we go oh and he pulled it off oh, I broke my leader dang it and you could add in all my gold hooks and long shank number 12 bait hooks were all rusted oh come on I think he's got it there we go oh what happened there? Rusty hook. Dang it. Right. We've got one of our hardtails. If I can get them up without the line breaking. Oh gosh, come on. Just give me some bait. Come be my bait. Oh, dang it. All right, I got a blue runner finally, or a hardtail. Don't break, don't break. Yes. I literally spent probably over over an hour just to catch that one. Probably no. Probably went through 15 hooks. Losing leader. Breaking hooks. And I finally got this guy. Stop. Oh, look at that. Just pulled out. Oh no. And look at that. See, the hook is broken because it's rusty. Golly, what a pain that was. All right, got some nice fresh hardtail meat that I can use for uh, drifting baits back and bottom fishing. Uh, frozen mullet, frozen pilchards, they just suck. Just totally useless. They just fall apart. This is one of my rusty yellowtail hooks I bet's going to break. But I've been probably sitting on the hook here for probably about two hours now. And I haven't even started fishing yet. Caught a bunch of little dink yellowtails. 
but let's see if there's anything out here willing to eat. There's a ton of ballyhoo back there. They're coming in closer. Thing was going. But I think something's on there. Nope. Let it go. Oh, no, something's got it. Oh, did that cut me off? Bet you that was a dang toothy critter. Yeah. Dang it! All I'm doing is just re-rigging, and I don't want to take the time to do wire. Golly. Let's see if there's anything lurking towards the bottom here. That's a uh, quarter ounce Cobra jig head. Oh, something's playing with it. Nibbling on it, nibbling on it. I don't know if it's got it. I think something's got it. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. What do we got, what do we got? Grunt. Wow, you could be bait too. That was probably easier than those stupid blue runners. Um, how much time do I got? I guess I'll keep you just in case. In the hole. Well, I found some weighted circle hooks, so let's see if anything's around here. I don't want to do any wire. Well, something's taking it. Running. Let him take it down. There it goes. In we go. Circle hook. Circle hook. Pulling me. Can't see through all the fish what this is. What is it? What is it? Mangrove! That's our target species. Nice one. That would be a sandwich style. Ugh. There we go. These guys are out here spawning. So if you can get a bait down to them, you can catch a lot of dinner. He's fat. Last one there, those are the ones that we're looking for. Just got to get it below all this junk to them. The big bait helps. All right, there we go. What do we got? Uh, yellow tail, yellow tail, schmail tail. Oh, better get up. We got circle hooked. We go. What do we got? Yellow tail. Yep. Oh, hard tails are attacking him. Ah, eh, not bad. Getting bigger. Oh. Weighted circle hooks. Just gotta let them eat it. Woo. I'm thinking, whoa, 
Oh, come on up, come on up. My chum bags ran out, but these guys are back there. Ah, it's even nicer. Ugh. You'd be a keeper. Oh. There you go. Nice yellow tails. Alrighty, I'm calling it. Uh, they blew through that one block of chum, bunch of chubs and hardtails, so I wasn't gonna waste another block, and I don't have enough time to move around and hit another spot. Uh, I figured out all the things that I need to work on, which is pretty much everything not related to the kayak itself, which I give a thumbs up. Very happy with that. Uh, I think it's a go-getter, so we'll be all good there. It's just everything else <laughs> needs work. Oh, I didn't think I was so bad off, but uh, yeah, I got to work on the motor, got to work on the fish finder battery. Uh, what else we got here? All my rigs for uh, reef fishing and offshore, need to redo them all. I uh, got to replace all the, the missing leaders and lines and all that stuff. So yeah, I got a lot of prep stuff I need to get caught up with. But uh, still, I'm happy. Well, I'll be really happy if I make it back to the launch. If I make it back to the launch, I'll be happy with today. But the way things are going, I'll make it back a quarter of the way. <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, it's gonna be a calm day for another couple days, so we'll see. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I uh, want to support the channel. Pick up an all about the bait yellowtail snapper shirt. Bam! Get a free uh, pack of yellowtail jigs. Uh, heck, I might throw in a free uh, yellowtail mask too. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.